it up just real quick. We're gonna have this far court on the tennis court be the practice court. So we're gonna do, go over, you know, strategy and drills and stuff like that. You're more than welcome to come over there and join us. Or otherwise, you're more than welcome to just stay and play on your court and do whatever. So it's up to you. You can quit your game right now and have someone else hop in if you want to practice or finish your game and then come over. It's totally up to you. The average practice, um, we're here about like 15 minutes before our uh, Monday afternoon practice. Uh, we practice four to six this year. They look like, you know, we have about four to six courts at a time going. People will just come and go, play. It's pretty casual. Um, we're starting to implement more practice, like drilling, practice stuff, going over strategy and technique and working on stuff like that for people that are more committed. And um, there's definitely some interest in that for sure. So yeah, we're trying to implement that more. But other than that, it's pretty casual. We just have some rec games going on, um, play, just play and have fun, you know? Yeah, so I really wanted to start Pickleball Club because um, I was having a lot of fun playing it with my friends and I heard of all these other colleges and programs starting their own clubs and we didn't have one here and I was, and me and my friend um, Teddy, we we started the club, we were just thinking like, you know, might as well just try it out, see if it works, see if other people are interested. I mean, we, we thought there was interest and we really liked um, playing it, so um, yeah, we just tried it out and it worked out pretty well. There's a huge collegiate scene going on right now. It's big business right now, collegiate pickleball. Um, there's a lot of organizations uh, investing a lot of money into the, the scene. So yeah, we go to a couple tournaments a year. Two weeks, we're going to Daytona Beach, Florida for a National Collegiate Pickleball Association um, regional tournament there. So that'll be really fun. And uh, we have a couple more planned, one in the winter and one in the spring semester. Big, a lot of, I mean, definitely it, most of the tournaments are out of the like New England area, so it does take some um, funding and set up to plan to travel that far, but they are really worth it and they're really fun. And I would definitely recommend if you're thinking about wanting to travel for pickleball, it's yeah, I would definitely recommend trying it out. It's really fun. Yeah, so the process has a couple of different things. Um, you have to go through the sports club committee. We talked to um, the old sports club director, Dale Russell. He was really nice, helped us with a lot of the stuff filled out a lot of forms, um, had to make like a mini constitution, had to get some early signups. And then um, after you kind of go through that process, you go through the student government to get official uh, recognition from the university. And that allows you to get funding and reserve um, court spaces and stuff like that. So that probably took a little longer um, just because there are some minimum waiting requirements. But after that, yeah, we were able to set up a, a table at the um, club fair and that's that's definitely the best way to recruit members um, so that was really fun yeah for the club I um, definitely want to get uh, better facilities um, right now we're just practicing on the tennis courts right now so definitely the goal would be to either get some line permanent lines on the courts and have um, more nets for the club or maybe even some actual um, permanent pickleball courts. I know the Bangor High School just implemented four permanent courts, brand new, very nice facilities uh, right next to their tennis courts on their campus there. So that's really cool. But yeah, even just the lines would be, that'd be a really awesome thing. I think that would really help the club um, thrive for a long time after and it get people more interested um, just having nicer facilities and stuff like that really goes a long way. Uh, yeah, do it. I mean, ton of people. We had like over 200 people interested from the club fair and online on campus groups and stuff. Um, yeah, it's just it's uh, it's like the you know it's the trendy thing right now. Definitely just try it out.